Today's prompt is such a good one. Journaling helps you to express your feelings and thoughts, which can be helpful in understanding yourself better. It can also help you to learn more about yourself, your life, and the world around you. And it can be a way to connect with others who are also grappling with problems. It can reduce stress, anxiety, and depression by helping you to learn how to manage your thoughts, feelings, and behavior. In this journaling session, I'm gonna be setting the timer for 15 minutes, which might seem like a lot of time. If you do not have 15 minutes, that's okay. Save this video for when you do, or just journal along for the amount of time you have. Five minutes, seven minutes, 10 minutes are all great. There are timestamps included. Just skip over to the reflection section because you wanna make sure that you give yourself at least two minutes to go through the reflection. And it doesn't even need to be now. You can come back to this video when you have time. I have put together some of my favorite journaling prompts. You can go ahead and grab them by clicking on the link in the description below. These are great if you are new to journaling or if you're a seasoned pro and you're just looking for some new journaling prompts. Why 15 minutes? That is a great question. To dig really, really deep to get to that really core stuff. And I'm not worrying about grammar or punctuation or spelling. It's just free flowing and my pen is just gonna move. So don't let any of those obstacles get in your way. Don't worry about it. Just connect your heart and your head with your pen. In 365 days, what would you like your life to look like? How will it look the same and how will it look different? Make sure to subscribe and ding that notification bell so you never miss a Monday journaling session.
All right, 15 minutes is up. Now I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes reading through what I've written and making a couple of notes. And I'm looking for repeating themes that come up and because I was doing just free writing, chances are I repeated myself a couple of times. And I'm gonna make a couple of notes to see what came up for me and then we'll get to the next step. All right. So a couple of things that I noticed that came up over and over again is I actually mentioned hiking three times. So I mentioned the fact that I wanna spend more time hiking on the weekends, that I'd like to make a couple of new friends that enjoy hiking. And then again, I repeated that I'd like to spend more time hiking. So one thing that I definitely want to have happen in the next 365 days at the bottom of my journal entry that I've mentioned hiking several times. So in order to you know get to that point, I'm gonna to have to figure out how to put more hiking into my life. So a couple of things that I've been thinking about doing is just like joining some local hiking meetups here. So I'm gonna make a note of that because that's obviously like an action that I need to take. I've been thinking about it and it came up for me. So what I'm gonna do now is spend like a couple of minutes just going through and making notes at the end of my journal entry about the things that came up several times because this is what I want to manifest for myself in the next 365 days. This is what came up when I was just doing a stream of consciousness writing. And now I'm going to turn some of those things into an actual action plan. There are seven very specific things that came up for me when I was journaling, and I've listed the seven down. These are things I can specifically take action on to move myself towards what I want my life to look like in 365 days. What came up for you? What are you willing to share? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.